Hello everyone. I would like to talk to you about yet another aspect of British government, namely those famous red boxes or red briefcases that you see ministers carry with them. Those briefcases, they're usually called red boxes, sometimes dispatch boxes, um, they have been around for a very long time. Uh, the origins actually go back to the government under Elizabeth I. We're talking the 16th century then, so that's quite a long time. In those red boxes, the ministers carry around government papers and files, uh, important documents. And each secretary, each minister, uh, has a number of those boxes or maybe I should say each ministry has a number of those boxes up to a dozen per ministry but also the royal family uses them the Queen has her own red boxes the design of those boxes hasn't changed since 1860 that is over 150 years ago there's, they still look the same and they are regularly replaced. What do they look like? Well, as I said, like a red briefcase, a red box. They're made of pine wood and inside they are lined with lead and black silk. You may ask yourself why line them with lead? Well, they are supposed to be able to withstand quite a lot, uh, including fire including possibly a bomb blast. The idea is probably that the content of the boxes is more important than the ministers carrying the boxes uh, around. Those boxes are covered in red leather, hence the colour, uh, red uh, boxes. And on the red leather you have embossed the royal cipher. What is that royal cipher? That's a kind of a symbol uh, at the moment that consists of the letters E and R. That stands for Elizabeth Regina. Uh, and there's also uh, a Roman uh, II uh, involved there. And above the letters you have uh, the symbol of the crown. Uh, that's embossed on each uh, of the red boxes in gold. Plus then also the ministerial title uh, so that may be um, Foreign Secretary, that may be Chancellor of the Exchequer, uh, the Ministry of Finance in other words, uh, and also the Queen uh, has uh, a number of those red boxes and they're embossed with Queen then also. Um, strange thing about those boxes is that the handle is on the wrong side you might say. The handle is on the same side as the hinges. Uh, and the lock is on the opposite side. So you could say that the lock is at the bottom uh, or that the handle is on the wrong side. Uh, uh, you pick your choice, but it's a strange design. The idea is that because of that design, people have to actively lock the box before they can carry them around. And also, if somebody hands the red box to uh, someone else, to a minister, for instance, uh, they hand them, uh, put them on the table, and that then means the handle is facing uh, the one who's giving uh, the box to the minister, and the minister can immediately unlock, open the case without revealing the contents to the one who's uh, given it to him. Um, each of those boxes weighs about two to three kilos empty because of all the lead. Uh, of course, and they cost quite a bit of money. They cost over a thousand pounds each. So that's the secret uh, of the red boxes that you see carried around by ministers uh, of the British government. 